Truth. Raw Truth. Raw Truth. Raw Truth. Raw Truth. Raw Truth. Shalom, everybody. All right, man. Shalom. This is um the second the second installment of the of the raw cast or the raw truth um podcast, and also we're doing it with a live audience here in studios. All right, so everybody, just give me a kwam yasha Allah for the listeners. Kwam yasha Allah. Everybody, so weak man. Go on again. Kwam yasha Allah. Kwam yasha Allah. All right, praise the Most High. All right, we're gonna be we're gonna be using um as you know we using we do our meetings every every Tuesday every Tuesday evening at 8 p.m. So brothers and sisters within the Manchester congregation, make sure that you are here. You understand me? Because you're gonna be missing out. Um, we're not gonna be recording all the all the things and that we're going into. Some things will be kept private, but we'll put we're gonna put this out out this part of the the record this part of the, the discussion out. All right. So for all the people who tuning in. Who I'm um, listening to this? I want to say shalom to you. Greetings in the name of the Most High. Um, welcome to the gathering of Christ Church. And if you are new with us, my name is Brother and Elder Gaja of the Gathering. Beside me is um, Kasadra Kar, Brother Kasadra Kar, and um, also dealing with the engineering is Brother Nathaniel Allah. All right. So we are gonna be. Dropping some information, some information that came out earlier, earlier this earlier this week, um, over the Sabbath by one of our sisters down there in London, who who actually works with the works with the um with the NHS. And we got some stuff there that we're gonna go into in terms of what they're looking to do and what's the new plan going on. All right, within the UK, we're gonna put some links out that people can actually go and check out as well. All right, now. Before we go there, before we go in, go go into that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna lay the foundations with some scriptures. All right, all right. So um, let's go to the book of Job, everybody. We're gonna go this and this and this is um, this is gonna link us into into this discussion. All right, all right. What we're gonna go into? Go to um for me. Give me Job thirteen. Alright. And let's pick up at the fourth verse, and then I want you. After that, we're gonna go into the apocrypha. Alright. Um, listeners, we'll go with um those of you at home listening in. We are using a standard King James ver- version Bible. Alright. With apocrypha, and those of you who don't know what the apocrypha is, it is the books that were taken out of publication by the Roman Catholics. Alright. Sisters, if you're listening in and at home as well, we know that sometimes when we're at home, we, we keep it, you know, we keep it loose, but cover your head, all right? Brothers, if you got your, your hats on, take them off, all right? Going into the word, okay? Now let's go to Job 13, verse 4. The book of Job chapter 13 and verse 4. But ye are forges of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. Read that again for me, Ak. But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. So the Bible says, ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. And this is referring to the to this to this to the system. All right, talking about your doctors out there. These are physicians of no value. These physicians, they don't they don't heal. They don't cure. They make sick, and they and it's a corporation. All right, you name it. Um and it is a deep thing going on right now in the earth right now when it comes to when it comes to these physicians and these lies that, they, that they're telling the people. Alright? Now hold for me. Hold for me. Um the, get the apocrypha out. And we're gonna go to um Sirach 38. But before we go Sirach 38, alright? There's something here I want you to read for me. All right, I'm in the New Testament. All right, and I'm in the New Testament, and I've got the word, the Hebrew word. Or sorry, excuse me, the Greek word, salakia. The Greek word G fifty five nine zero. All right. That's G fifty five nine zero. Everybody. All right. 
And that word in the English, in the English, I don't know if your brothers and sisters over there with a strong that you can look it up. That word G5590 in the, in the, in the English is soul, S-O-U-L. All right? And what's that word? Pronounce that word for me, please, Ark, in the Greek. G5590. Pronounce that word for me in the Greek. G5590, Greek word in English. P S U C H E. Psyche. Okay? Psyche, psychology, psychiatric. Okay? Now read the definition for me, please, Ark. Bre uh, from G5594, breath that is by implication spirit. Right. Abstractly or consecrately, mm -hmm. the animal sentient principle only, thus distinguished on the one hand from G4151. Go ahead. Which is the rational and immoral soul. Rational and immoral soul. So aside when in 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 in, in Western terms, right? Psychology is really study of the soul. Everybody with me on that? Even Con? Says here, Go on. Uh, these terms get, get, closer to the, get closer to the mic. Uh, sorry. Uh, it says, These terms thus exactly correspond respectively to the Hebrew H7307 Ruach, which is the spirit or soul in Hebrew. Okay. Mind, so, soul. So, go ahead, sister. 7307. All right, so here it is. Now we're dealing with, with um, we're dealing with psychology, psychiatric. Um, what's that? What's the other word? What's the other one I'm looking for? Yeah. Like yeah, this is all study of 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 mental of of the soul. Now going into that right now, pass that piece of paper for me, please, Ark, over there. Right, got some information over the weekend. All right. And this is taken, and you can actually go and look this up on online. All right, if you type in, if you type in BME, BMEHealth.org. All right, and this, yes, health, H E A L T H dot org. BME, H E A L T H dot org. All right. And the, the, what what the, what what is what what it's saying here is the, on on this piece of paper of this printout I have right here. It says ethnic health initiative. All right. Now, when you hear ethnic health initiative, right? What what comes to your mind with that, brothers and sisters in the audience? Huh? Once you hear that ethnic word. People of race that aren't of yeah. Go on to the mic, go to the mic. Everyone other than white for me, you know what I mean? Sorry? Everyone other than white. Everyone other than white. So you just, when they say ethnic, they're dealing with a specific set of people, aren't they? Correct. Yeah. You know. Now, I'm going to read this here, right? I know, well, Kasala, I want you to read this somewhere, please. Come. All right. And everybody, you're locked into the raw truth, a.k.a. the raw cast, all right? Our contact info is um, if you want to email us any information you have or anything you'd like us, you'd like us to discuss, you can email it to rawcast144 at gmail.com. All right, that's rawcast144 at gmail.com. All right. So go into that for me. Let's start. Let's read from read from right here, sir. Okay. What it says here, sir. And, 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 and you're not going to believe this, everybody. Listen to this. Go ahead. Uh, Ethnic Health Initiative, promoting a better understanding of BMA, psycho psychological health and well-being. Oh, but what was that word again? What's that word there? Psychological. Psychological. So this is, this is dealing directly with it, 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 it's, it's, its entire, um, its beginning. Even before they went into, into, into what they're going to go into now, psychology has always been an aspect of dealing with the spirit, of dealing with the soul. All right? So listen to this now. Check this out. Read. Spirit possession and mental health. Spirit possession 
and mental health. <laughs> I see, I see the bemused faces in here in the audience. Let me paint the picture for me, for the listeners, right? We sat in here um, doing this live, and, and everyone here is just bemused by by hearing look the face of of bewilderment and on on the look of bewilderment on the faces right now when 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 you hear that spirit possession and mental health. Go ahead. Spirit possession is recognized worldwide across many cultures and by several religions. Go ahead. Spirit possession is often seen as an idiom of distress causing a change in behavior and mental well-being. Go ahead. Spirit possession is also included in the ICD-10 and DSM-4 classifications of mental disorders. So that is some category that they have here. So in mental health disorders, when people normally come in with their men saying that they're having mental problems or whatever the case is, their diagnosis as an element of spiritual possession, excuse me, demon possession, spirit possession mm -hmm. in it. All right. Now, the craziest thing about, about this article that for me is this, is that they have always known that illness is a result of spirits. Mm -hmm. They have always known that. You understand me? So now, Things are coming out into the forefront, dealing with, dealing with the 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 set, the, the ethnic, ethnic um, this e ethnic initiative, ethnic health, because from what I'm gathering from this, right, is that a lot of our people who would go in, would who would go to the um, go into these institutions, i.e. the NHS, going into your, go to see your doctors and all of that. If you're a doctor, if you, we, we, because we have been, we, we have that connection already with dealing with spiritual matters. You understand me? When your doctor start telling you now that you're dealing with a spirit, it then becomes something more easier for you to deal with. And I, and I give you the example. A lot of people, when things not going right for them and them feel a certain way, the first place that they will head, head down to is the witch doctor. The voodoo man, the obia man, clairvoyant. the clairvoyant or whatever the case is. You understand me? Yeah. And we're going to go into the scriptures which speak against those as well. So now the NHS, from what I am gathering here, is now capitalizing on a group of people being, being that way inclined. So if you, are, if, you are being, if, if you go to your doctors now and your doctors are telling you that you, you're dealing with a spirit, right? Chances are they're gonna have a measure, a, a countermeasure to deal with that. Drugs, exorcism, you understand me? Exact dealing with demon possession. You understand? So now now they're bringing it to the forefront, right? Opening up certain opening up certain doors now for the so-called ethnic minority, you know, and we know this target at Israel. To then now come in and rather than going, rather than going to your obia man, I can go to my GP right now and tell him or her that I believe somebody put a root on me. You understand me? Exactly. In a, in in not in it, it's it's not is no. There are certain things that you wouldn't go to your doctor with. You understand? Me? You wouldn't go to your doctor and tell your doctor you, about that you you suspect spirits in your house. Because the doctors then would have been trained to dismiss that and say, oh, you know, you de you know, you you're schizophrenic or whatever the case is. Are you dealing with so you know, you, you understand me? But no, they're putting it out there that they they, they're going to identify that you could be dealing with some level of spirit. Okay? Sorry? It's busy. Exactly. So now they're going to have countermeasures now to deal with the spirit. You understand me? So the Bible speaks to them as the first chapter we read right there in, in Job 13 and 4. That these are physicians of no value. Because if, if, if they were paying close attention to the Bible, the Messiah told us how to deal with these spiritual possession. All of it is written down in the Bible. You understand? But let's read some more of this and then we're going to go into some of the scriptures. All right? Let's read this. Go ahead, Ark. Yet the extent to which it is recognized and or discussed in clinical practice is less than we would expect. If, of course, because the, the doctors aren't taught about spirits 
in that sense. Science dismisses the idea of there is a spirit. So, you know, your doctors don't know, in, in the clinic, in the clinics, they don't know nothing about spirits. They're not dealing with it. You understand me? But there's a population of people that deal with this and understand that. And this is why they're coming up with this right now, to target them set of people. To target the, the, the ethnic people who, who, who understand about the spirit, who understand about that dimension. So now you can go into your clinic and tell your doctor that, listen doc, you know something? I've been hearing voices. Something is going on in my house. You understand? Go ahead. Even in the UK, UK cities where there resides a diverse population. Go ahead. This one day event will consider the critical themes and debates on spirit possession. So this is now, this is now going into this event that they are looking to organize. The, um, the NHS based on their ethnic health initiative. Okay, go on. And debates on spirit possession from an anthropological, social and psychological, medical <laughs> and religious perspective <laughs> using a range of illustrative case study, clinical so now, practice and research. So now they're coming, now they're bringing now their spin to it and how to deal with it. You understand me? This is what this is what they're bringing it now. So we're gonna now give you our sight. We are we now need to be the authority now on dealing with spirits and dealing with demonic possession. Two thousand years later, after Christ, <laughs> after Christ, not only not only just not only just that, but this is a market now for them. This is this is another way for them to capitalize, i.e. selling drugs. I.e. we have some other people up in colleges right now to train, train how to deal with demonic, how to deal with exorcism. You understand me? But isn't that going to cause even more problems for some of them that more spirit? Exactly. Can. 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 100 percent What? 100% and, it's, and that's all it is now Lucifer is, done, is, is now use, using his minions them out there disguised as doctors now right to be putting spirits in people to, 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 to get in you now yeah as if it wasn't enough with the medication system yeah getting you directly pumped up with a demon have host to go into have host looking for host go on and listen to this go ahead the aims of the conference so listen so listen to the aims of this conference now go on discuss possible definitions and different kinds of spirit possession so we're going to discuss the definition of it and the different variation of spiritual possession go ahead debate the key elements which typify spirit possession key elements so we got you know so they, they, you know they're making a little checklist things to look for Think signs of demonic possession. You understand me? Go ahead. Discuss who can make a diagnosis of spirit possession and how such a diagnosis might be made. Who has the authority now to tell you who dealing with spirits and who not dealing with spirits? Go ahead. Compare the contrast how spirit possession might be viewed by cl clinicians, clinicians, sorry, uh, religious leaders, healers, the patient family and community members so we need to work out now how we look at spiritual possession how the religion or the religious sector gonna look at it how the family gonna look at it clinics well. how the clinics looking at it you understand me so these are the things that, they, that they, they're looking to discuss at this meeting go on discuss the value of using patients explanatory model of illness and reflect upon the key issues associated with defining what is normal and abnormal. So now they're coming up, now they're going to make diagnosis now as to what is, what is spirit, what is normal and what is abnormal. That's what these physicians are looking to do. Go ahead. A physician, excuse me, physicians of no value. Discuss folk hearing practices in different cultures and treatment options, including exorcism. <laughs> So they're going to discuss folk, read that, folk what? Discuss folk healing practices. Folk healing practices. So now what they're going to actually start doing then now with that is dabbling directly 
into into witchcraft, m- witchcraft and mm. magic and, du- and druidry and dru- exactly of what customs and culture would do so yeah okay we're dealing with some african them deal with the the, the voodoo or, you understand me we're going we're going to deal with that yes oh of course yes yeah listen to this go on consider whether there is a need to enhance joint working between mental health professionals and transitional healers so now we, we need to bring in the the, the, the so-called healers in i tell you what they're gonna start training their own healers you understand me their own their own people is now gonna be coming in okay this is a qualified healer you understand that's gonna wash something for you yeah gonna come put you in put you in some water whatever the case is with some oil and 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 and, and whatever the case is and you know chant, chant <laughs> you understand sacrifice a goat or something on a giant pentagram Are you with me exactly go on that's it for that yeah. we can go on program of the day but okay so this is so this is so that give you that the, the the list of what they're looking to do all right yeah and um for the people that are in manchester this is coming to you very soon this con this so-called conference is gonna be in um in 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 manchester now check this out read that for me Ark, when it says who should attend uh, who should attend uh, this conference will be relevant to all interested in this in this field as well as all professionals including those from local authorities and nhs trust trusts across the uk local authorities and nhs trusts across the uk go ahead psychiatrists psychiatrists going back to them soul people again general practitioners Go, G, G, GP, your doctors, go ahead. Psychologists. You say, you say, another psych Monday again. Psychotherapists. Another psych Monday. <laughs> go on. Counselors. Go ahead. Early intervention teams. Go on. CPNs. I don't know what CPNs. <laughs> you have to find out what some yeah. of these abbreviations stand for. Right. Right. The C- okay. All right. So this is okay. The C- 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 CPN yeah. community practice C- nurse. C- CPNs. Yeah. Right. So these are the people them who them have in the community set up to go deal with certain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To go deal with certain issues. Yeah. Okay. CPN. Go ahead. OTs or occupational therapists. Go on. Social workers. Go on. Chaplains, community faith leaders and healers, equality leads, community development workers service user representatives charities third sector educational establishments educational establishments academics and policy makers schools colleges universities and and policy makers and policy makers so that's that's uh, members of parliament (laughs) members of parliament and so yeah huh housing there's no housing people on it well they they probably (laughs) <laughs> Everybody, it's a house. Hold up, one sec. Say so one, one, one voice at a time. Go ahead. Yeah, that cover housing, right? Everyone. Everyone. Huh? Policy makers, military. Yeah, they will come. Yeah. Definitely. In your face. In your face. And you know, and you, do you know what the funny thing is? Nobody believes every, like the people them sounding the horn until the big, until now until the doctor in the nice long white coat says, you know what, spirit possession is actually real. Yeah. And you know they're gonna be like, oh yeah, you know what, you're right, this is you're a right. This is real life. Yeah, man. Right. Real. Now check it out. Check it out. And that's a good and that's a good point you, you brought, Kasad. Because if you go and talk to people out there right now and you tell them about spirits oh, man, and you tell crazy. them how, how real it you know it's it's real that you have a spirit, you have a soul. And right now we're fighting a we're fighting a war against de- against demons, right? People look at you like you're mad. You know, you're crazy. Why? And and, and, and as you, you just said, because because mainstream not dealing with it, then it can't be real. But but what's gonna happen now when you say they're going into them doctors now and the doctors them actually diagnosing them and telling them about spirits? 
and I and it's, as, as it says, ethnic, ethnic health initiative. It's targeted at a set of people, one hundred percent. Mm -hmm. yeah. But check this out now, and that's a good that's a good question now. But check this now. Market again. Check this out. We look, yeah, it it, it is a market. It's a market. Yeah. Because we're looking at we're looking at this now from the BSY website, right? On courses offered, yeah. BSY. BSY, and it's and and and, and you know what? The name is the name is right. It's BS. Okay. <laughs> Why? Uh, why? <laughs> B, B, <laughs> why is it BS? <laughs> because it's <laughs> <laughs> because listen, it is BS. <laughs> All right, but anyways, you know, yeah. it, 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 you know, it's actually it's BS. Why BS? Yes, <laughs> that's yes. what that's what it is. You with me? Yeah, indeed, indeed. It is BS. Yes. All right, mm. and this is taken from the BSY um, course and the free course list. Two for one on all courses, plus a twenty pound discount on your local course fee. Yep. Offers end thirty first of October. So this was some um, last year, right? Yeah, that you could sign up for. So you could sign up for. So you can go online and go look up, look on the BSY um, course free list. Course C O U R S E free list. So this is like a like a college at offering courses, right? Kind of like an open university type thing. Yeah, something like that. No, check, no, check this, check this, this list of classes that they have. Cause you were saying. You were saying that why they're coming into this now? Check this out. Listen to these class. Listen to these things that they deal with here in, 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 in this class. Let's start at let's go to you. Let's go right there. Mind, body, and spirit. Listen to the okay. read, read read the list of them courses that, that, that they're offering. Uh the list of courses that are new. It says in the nice little in the nice little uh, section, new. Mind, body, and spirit. Mm. Uh, angel healing. Angel healing. And angel magic. Angel magic. Angel ritual advanced. Angel and 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 for those that are, you know what I mean that don't believe this, this is actually these courses are what you pay for. These are like it has the prices fifty pounds per course uh, for an initial deposit, then monthly payments of twenty five pounds over eight to twelve months. All in all, two hundred and fifty pounds between ranging between two hundred and fifty and one hundred and fifty pounds, and you can pay for it. So this is a market that they've broke. They've they've created a market. It's a yeah. You can go in all in them. You can uh -huh. yeah. Um, layaway plan where you can you know play da down payments on it over how many payments? Listen, you have to you you, you to to. to to teach this level of things, you have to get the knowledge from somewhere. Now, how do you get angel healing, angel magic, and angel advanced rituals? <laughs> oh, man, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they've dropping ones where angels are falling. Yeah, angels are falling. Everyone has, yeah, has to fall to him. Yeah. The 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 fight sh shooting stars come yeah. down in balls of fire. Uh huh. And then they're there amongst those uh huh. People look at you like, like oh, exactly. Go on. It, it, it actually it's like a progression, isn't it? Mm. What you have to do in demon possession, it, you progress. You progress through to ranks. To spirit, to, uh, yeah. To advance. So to advance. angel to advance. healing, to angel oh. magic, and then angel ritual advanced. And then angel rituals exactly. So that's like the so, so you start out. You start <coughs> off with the, with the first level. Yes. yes. <laughs> level one, two, and three. In and in, in angel, angel what? Angel healing, angel magic, and angel rituals advanced. Angel rituals advanced. And this is what they're teaching right now. Go ahead, Ark. Astral projection. Astral projection. Astrology. Astrology. Character analysis. Go ahead. Creating with angels. Now check this out. Character analysis, right? And it says astrology. Now, how many people knew, right, or know that when you deal with, when, when you go for a job, a job interview, or and when they ask you certain question, final question, and they ask you date of birth, right? It's like you wonder, why, why, why do you need to know when I was born? And really, there are certain characteristics with, with you being born, at a, being born time, at a certain time. And that's what they study. They study that with astrology. You understand me? Mm -hmm. 
That's what they're studying. And that's how it says character analysis. You understand? So this is all the things that they're teaching. Mm. Go ahead, Ak. Uh, creating with angels. What? Creating with angels. Creating with angels. So call down your own bales above and you know he can show you the thing. It says so, creating so, with angels. So check it out. So this is so this so this so this, so this this is something this this is some sort of um conjuring. Mm. You with me? And, and and for those people that don't know, the vast majority of uh inventorial or technological breakthroughs in mankind's so called recent history Nikola Tesla and all these things. Uh, they're, 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 they're places of work, their esteemed places of work. There's been found pentagrams that they have called, you know, spirits through and stuff like that. These things that, and it's like, well, why is it they need these things? They need these angelic, uh, angelic beings to, to progress them through the next stage of technological advancement and development. Einstein. Yeah. You with me? Dummy. Einstein was a dummy. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Go on. So now, 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 now they're bringing all of this to the forefront. They're not, you know, not, you know, before this used to be like, like fantasy, isn't it? Like, I mean, creating with angels. That sounds like it's gonna be a kids program, like Heart Attack or something. <laughs> know what I mean, it's gonna be like, yeah, you have like a little Beelzebub -be walking down the street. You know what I mean? Like a Tweety type thing. Hold up one sec. Let me let, let's get one voice, one vo one voice at a time, everybody. Go ahead, Carla. Mm -hmm. this is gonna be the normal the no, Cause, normality because check how deep it is right when christ tells in saint matthew 24 what it's going to be like what do you say it's going to be like the times of, of noah. noah during the time of noah everyone knew there was a god exactly. every check there was not like now now every, right right yeah right now people question whether there's a god yeah, yeah. back then in noah's time everyone knew there was a god they just chose to go the left side now check this out it says it's going to be like the days of Noah. People are going to know that all this has been talked about before in the Most High's um, book, in the Bible. And they're still going to choose. To the, do it. The to less, practice yeah. it. Yeah. Right. So it's just going to be like Noah's time. So it's, so it's, it's so, just going to be, people are going to know that there's a God. So, and, eh, you know. so how is it? So when, when the Bible says, it's as, as, as in the days of Noah, yeah. now we can see how it's going to be in the days of Noah. Exactly. Because people are going to be learning what was going on in, in Noah's time mainstream. Yeah. Exactly. Everything. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Hold up. Check this. Read. Read on. There's some more there, right? Uh, crystal ball scrying. <laughs> yeah. Straight. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, crystal ball scry. S C R Y I N G. Scrying. Yo, let's get that. Let's get that dictionary yeah. definition yeah, for that word. Google scrying. That. Somebody Google that word for me. Scrying. scrying. Give me a. Give me a. Give me a. Give me a. Give me a definition on scrying. Well, from Mr. from Mr. Crystal Ball, we know they deal with some form of divination. You with me? And 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 um, for people who who are who just listening to this broadcast for the first time and wondering what is it that these people are talking about? And okay. What, and hold up. And and if if all of these things, why is it bad? We're actually gonna break down to you why these things are bad. Why these things are on the left side of the most high. I we should not we should not deal with it. Go ahead, my sister. Yeah. Exactly. So that means people just that this is what I'm saying. People are going to know there is a God. Yeah. A one one God and they're gonna choose the left side. People are gonna know and still choose the left side. We all know, but these lot are actually gonna be presented by their puppet masters with the truth and still choose the left wing. Of course, and that is what I've got it here, scry scrying, right? It was a uh, early 16th century word shortened from descry. It has been, it's from the 18th century, it's not been used up until 2010. It's not really been used since up until 2010. So some old words coming old, in. Old, old, some, old, old, some old English. Old Druid words Druid coming in. Uh, uh, which it, it's a verb. It's a doing word. It's a verb. Uh, Gurund or present participle. Scrying. To foretell the future using a crystal ball or other reflective object or surface. A mirror used for scrying. Divinity. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> you get it, man? Mirror, mirror yeah. on the wall. 
You get me? <laughs> yeah, listen. Go on. Go on. Let's, what, what else, dude? Um, scrying. Crystal ball scrying. What else is there? Um, crystal magic. Crystal magic. That, no. <laughs> no, no, that, that's <laughs> no, that's uh, <laughs> could be that, but yeah, it, no, crystal, crystal, meth. Crystal, no, that's crystal meth. <laughs> that's crystal meth. Uh, I tell you, man, crack those. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, crystal magic is the youth use of certain like uh, diamonds, amethyst, emeralds. Certain stones give off certain vibrations to call in certain things. Do you know what I mean? It's crystal, crystal magic. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna raise any red flags, but dragon magic. Dragon magic. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, all for the small deposit of fifty pounds. Dra- dragon, dragon magic. And this one, and this one, and this one is only twenty five pounds for four months. Get your money up. <laughs> this cheap. Well, if it being a course, of course you get. If if it's a dragon magic. BSA honors in dragon magic or NCA level two. Yeah, yeah it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like I joined them. <laughs> this may sound like some kind of fairy tale, but this is right. This is yep. real, yeah, man. 2015, real time. Mm. Yeah, man, dragon, certified dragon magician, and 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 quoted. Watch, watch when 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 all these courses go on 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 for so cheap. The people that have been doing them for years are gonna kick off. Like yo, why yo you, yeah you like they're gonna come to forward. Yo, they making me redundant. The government has capitalized on it and taken the biscuit. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they yeah are. because it's a market right now. A lot of people are waking up to holistic, to holistic, holistic healing remedies. Yeah. So there's a market for it. It's a big market. So now they cap, now they're going into it. Now they're capitalizing on it to, to be the authority. You can't beat it. You can't. You can't beat it. Join it. Join it. It was yeah. It was downplayed by them. It was downplayed. Yeah. And, exactly. and and not only that, not only that, you know, the ult- the ultimate agenda right now is to have the population possessed. Exactly. You with me? That's the that's the that's the that's the ultimate agenda. You with me? Is that even so much money making for them? You know, but at the at the very top of out of this, you understand me? Here in Esau's kingdom, they're looking to unleash demons on the people by teaching people how to conjure demons. So check it out. These people right now who are going and learning dragon magic. And learning crystal ball reading. Now the same people them who you're gonna be you're gonna be shopping next door to, you're gonna be going to work with, mm-hmm. you're gonna have your children going to school with them. Yeah. You understand me? What God knows what what nastiness they've been conjuring, coming up and dealing with, with, with the population. You understand me? And it's, it's it's gonna get it's gonna get it's gonna get very bad. <laughs> You with me? It's gonna get it's gonna much get a whole God, lot worse. Much godlessness will arise yes. upon the earth. More so than before. Yeah. Yo, yes. it says like in the days of Noah, yo, they were doing some rent, rent things in the days of Noah, man. Check this. There's, there's more there, isn't there? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, dream analysis. Dream analysis. So no, so we're going into the dream reading thing. Go on. Mm-hmm. Earth mysteries. Earth mysteries. Divining the land. Divining divination. Go ahead. I Ching. I don't know what I, don't know I Ching what is, but. I- I Ching does not even sound right. It don't sound bad. You with me? I mean, isn't that what they used to? Is it what Ching they used to call coke? Cocaine is what they Co- still call. They call cocaine Ching. Ching. They call it Ching. So I Ching. I don't know what I Ching I is Ching. in that course. And based cocaine. on all of this nastiness going on right now, I can only assume. Hold up, guys, because the mic, the mics can pick up all the talking. All right. Based on what's going on right now with all of the nastiness that we've been listing, you with me? A higher knows what what this is. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's the next one. Incense and magical oils. Incense and magical oils. These are all courses you can go and you can go and do in the BSS yes, yes course. You know. Go ahead. Magic herbalism. Magical Magic, magical herbalism. Sorry. Magical herbalism. So that's that's what we was talking about earlier about saying um, people. You know the herb the herbologists. You know that you know now now they're coming up with them things. Magic herbalism. 
You with me? And and not and this is not new. It's been there all the time. But they're bringing it to the forefront now for the people, for the master partake in it. And oh. this is also linking in, right, to, to this new age movement going on. Oh, there's loads more. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these. Go, go, one second. Go ahead, go ahead, sis. Yes. Yes, one hundred percent. Yes, like Mar Yes, exactly. You know what? We're actually gonna touch into that as well. We're in some scriptures tonight here, going into this. I just we're laying, we're putting up, we're putting it out there. What's there? And we're gonna go into the scriptures that go against all of this. All right. Go ahead. Uh, what's the, what else you have there? Oh, I got a whole heap more. Magical herbalism advanced. Man, myth, and magic, Native American medicinal botany, Native American teachings, Native American teachings advanced, numerology, palmistry, parapsychology, mm. pendulum dowsing, and radiesthesia, and radiesthesia, pyramid energy, Kabbalah. The hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, let's. Let's go back again. <laughs> Re rewind. <laughs> rewind that again. Pendulum dowsing and radiesthesia. Pyramid energy. Pyramid energy. So that so these are this is yeah. this is all my, my Egyptologists that, yeah, out there. That's why yeah. You with yeah. me? Your third your third eye and all of this nonsense. Yeah? Huh? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Every yeah. Exactly. Go ahead, yeah. Ak. Kabbalah. Kabbalah. The, the first steps. Kabbalah, the journey continues. <laughs> runes, for people that don't know, runes are stones and stuff like that again. Uh -huh. uh, magical stones. Shamanism. Tarot and cartomancy. Wicca. Wicca advanced. And working with chakras. Wicca advanced. Advanced. Advanced Wicca. Hey, hey, and Wicca ain't no joke. Wicca's an eight month plant, an eight month course. <laughs> How long is Kabbalah? Kabbalah is 12 months. <laughs> Kabbalah's 12 months, and Kabbalah, the journey continues, is another 12 months. So to, to be fully up there with Kabbalah, uh, 24 months. Sorry? It's a. It's a <laughs> It's it's one of them ways. It's comical. Yeah, like, I told you so. Yeah. And people are, yeah. yo, yeah. Really yeah. It's ridiculous, man. It's like it's a, funny, yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. So yes, my sister. Listen, it says, as in the days of Noah, mm. people would do yo. When you read the books of Joshua and Jubilee, yo, they were doing some almighty yeah. like sins to the highest level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. They'll come out and say, yeah, we, we, we cured it. We cured uh-huh uh-huh can can yeah no you're right carla it's not funny but it it, it is here it it, you know, it is right it is real it is, it? it is real raw in your face real time all right and it, yeah man it's here And the te they're actually teaching you out there in your institutions, right? And this is why schools were set up in the beginning. Originally, originally, right? Mm -hmm. You used to send your children to school to learn about the Most High. Mm -hmm. Those are the first. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. yeah, those are the original schools. Even back when I went to school, my school wasn't Catholic or Christian or anything, but we sang hymns and we read 
You know what I mean? We pray, we, mm-hmm. we, I, I, we prayed every day. I never understood that. Mm-hmm. Every, every day in assembly, we prayed. I don't, I don't, I never understood why. Mm-hmm. Jamaica. My, yeah, my school wasn't Catholic or... Jamaica, we grew up, yo. We had, we had a thing we called devotion every morning. Yeah. yeah. Morning, morning prayer, evening prayer. Yeah, man, that definitely. So, originally... Sorry? It's a, right. So, originally... Schools were made up to teach about the Most High. But after Satan get into it, it has now, you know, now it's actually coming full out, full blown out right now of what, of what this school is about, of what, of what schools, your institutions are, were really about from the beginning. Full out blown right straight in, straight in your face right now. You with me? So any viewer out there, what's the million dollar answer then? Sorry? The million dollar answer is that we come back to the scriptures. Come back to the most high. That's the, that's that's our saving grace. You understand? That's our saving saving grace. That's our that's our foundation. You understand me? Mm-hmm. Get me um get Isaiah 33 and 6. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Going right back right back off what we're saying, Carlo, that you know the, the the key is the the key is the book. The key is coming back to the Most High. All right, read that for me, Isaiah thirty-three and six. The book of Isaiah, chapter thirty-three, and verse six. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Go ahead. And and strength of salvation. Go ahead. The fear of the Most High is his treasure. Read it again. The fear of the Most High is his treasure. So wisdom and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our ta- of thy times. So when things start to get bad, as we see it's gonna get bad, only wisdom and knowledge will keep us stable. You understand me? Wisdom and knowledge is the stability of thy times. So, ultimately, we have to come back to the Most High and seek wisdom. Okay. Now, like I said, if you knew, if you knew to this, if you knew to this information, and you are, you know, just hearing about this, and you want to know why all of this is bad, we're actually gonna go into it. All right. But stay tuned. We're gonna take a quick break, and we'll be right back. All right. You are listening to the Raw Truth, aka the Raw Cast. All right, and we'll be right back after this after this short break. So long. Let me real. Let me real. Let me real. Keep it real. Let me real. Let me real. Let me real. Gotta keep it real. I go to war with my sword, bring your nice stick. I wake up 2 in the morning for my night fix I quit my day job just to work the night shift Now my life is all rated for righteous You got a spirit on you that you can't get rid of Never hold you back or down cause I'm making pillars Life went south, never crossed the higher river The Bible is fire, not logical cause it make you shiver Seeing chills up the spine with a heat blast I'm chasing my future if you see me speed past Israel will be saved when he make it back I got a couple Hebrews at a second neck Let me real, let me real, let me real For real, let me real, let me real, let me real For real, let me real, let me real Let's keep it real, let's keep it real Let me real, let me real Let's keep it real, let's keep it real For real, I got a couple friends and keeping it real Keep it real, got some family and keeping it real Let me real, let me real let be real, 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 for real, look, for real. Kingdom comes, we just waiting on a few things. I bring truth when I do bring. The end is here, but that's old news. But the old news is the new thing. But what's under the sun don't bring new things. You heard it, but you ain't take heed to it. The Bible is my cut and I bleed to it. He the father of lies and you cleave to him He your transparent, but you can't see through him People step on other people just to make it higher Where you think you going if you not calling on the higher You gonna be drowning forever in the lake of fire Let be real, let be real, let be real For real, let be real, let be real, let be real For real, let be real, let be real Let's keep it real, let's keep it real Let be real, let be real Let's keep it real, for real. I got a couple friends and keeping it real. Keep it real. Got some family and keeping it real. Let me real, let me real, let me real, for real. Let me real, let me real, let me real, for real, for real.
Raw truth. 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 All right, everybody. You're welcome back to the Raw Truth, um, aka the Raw Cast, and we've been going through um, a couple of things here regarding ma- magic and foolishness that we see the offering in the classes. All right, in schools, straight up. And uh, we just found out the BSY is actually the British um, School of Yoga. Yoga. Alright? So we went one further. We looked at the requirements for the Kabbalah course. The first step. The first step for for the Kabbalah. Listen to this, everyone. Read that for me, Ak. Successfully uh, complete this course, Kabbalah, the first steps, to gain knowledge in Kabbalah, uh, the first steps, be awarded the New Age Foundation Certificate in Kabbalah, the first steps. Just read that again, please. Be awarded the New Age Foundation Certificate in Kabbalah. The New Age. And we all know about the New Age movement Mm. from um, Blavatsky. Madam Blavatsky. And so on. All right, now go on. This, from this, you can term yourself as one of the following adept in mantic arts of the New Age Foundation. You can term yourself as the following adept in mantic arts of the New Age Foundation. Go on. Master in mantic arts. Master in mantic arts. And we're going to get the definition for mantic as well. Go ahead. And fellow in mantic arts. Go on. The overview for this course is if you are sub- if you are seriously searching for direction on your spiritual path, then knowledge of the Kabbalah is essential. The Kabbalah encourages you to use your natural abilities for intuition, learning and experience, providing self-instructional uh, devices to exercise your own will. Good. The tree of life was devised to be used as a practical means of achieving your spiritual identity. Now listen to this. Read that again. Now. The tree of life yes. was devised to be used as a practical means of achieving your spiritual identity. The tree of life. Where was that found? I wonder. I wonder where it's found. Go, go ahead, Ark. Acting as a key to the inner door of your spiritual quest. Go ahead. It is always exciting when we take the first steps in any aspect of life. So this right now sounds like an enticed, an enticing... The serpent enticing. Oh, there's more. Enticing you to power, just like oh, he had an enticed Eve in the garden. Okay, enticed her with knowledge. Enticed her with 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 to have to have power. Yeah, listen. This is what. Listen. Go this, ahead. <laughs> this first step will prove to be invaluable to your quest for wisdom and enlightenment sounds like it's straight from the serpent's tongue Jared. straight out of genesis the third straight chapter straight out the serpent imagine this this first step will prove to be invaluable to your quest for wisdom and enlightenment yo is there more there now nah, that that, that, that that's, what, that's what is what is the entry requirement for you to go on a kabbalah uh, course the prerequisites for the, the kabbalah course is no previous qualifications or experience are required <laughs> practical training no practical training is required <laughs> so any dummy anyone can learn anyone anyone so so check this out people that are unbeknown to the scriptures the the bible that where the tree of life was first talked about can fully go into this 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 kabbalah the first steps Becoming accredited in the New Age Foundation and learn from scratch for for, for cheap. Sorry. There's only two entities, right? We know that. We know that as a normal human being, there's only two entities. If that's got nothing to do with the exactly. Mm -hmm. Who else? Who else? M A N T I C. Let's go get that. Let's go get Mantic. Let's get that. Mantic. Most I willing, you just forget out and information or reach out to the people. You with me? Yeah. Go on, but give me that mantic. Mantic definition. You got it. Uh, Mantic, go on. Mantic, uh, adjective, formal adjective, mantic, relating to divination or prophecy. 
in the Greek, the origin is a Greek word, mantis, prophet, Greek, <laughs> manticos, <laughs> mid 19th century, mantic. Divination. Divination, mm -hmm. right there, right there. So you, be, so, you, so you become a mantic now. Mm. I guess, I guess, I guess Muhammad was a mantic then, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh. huh? Sorry? Uh. He made a part. It must have done, man. Must have been part of these courses. <laughs> yeah. Mantics. Mantics, okay. <laughs> they've been out of fact, you know, it's, they, 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 these, you know, it's, it's, it, they're just coming to the forefront now, but they've been there forever. So let me go grab the Bible real quick, all right? And let's go into a couple of scriptures here. For the for the people them for new people and for for the old people, who, new people who wondering what we're talking about and why is it bad that we that we're dealing with this? All right, that 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 what what what's so bad about going to learn from the school of yoga? What's so bad about that? What's so bad about learning learning from the tree of life? Uh, what's so bad about that? Which was swiped away from Adam and Eve. Thank you very much. Exactly. What's what's so what's so bad? With what with, with what with what they're saying and what we're saying. And according to the Bible, this is why this is why it's so. Alright? Thus says the most high. Somebody get for me Deuteronomy 18 and 10. Alright. And um grab give me give me give me the book of Enoch over there, please. Huh? We're gonna go into Enoch. And then we're gonna go into Yeshaya as well, alright? Mm -hmm. And show show the show the show the brothers and sisters them why. Why it is why why it is and how and how Yeshaya told us to deal with it, alright? So we're in the book of um, Deuteronomy the eighteenth chapter and we're at the tenth verse. The book of Deuteronomy chapter eighteen and verse ten. Go ahead. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. And we know that that pertains to child sacrifice. Correct. Go ahead. Or that useth divination. Or divination. So no, there should be no mantics around us. Go ahead. Or an observer of times. No crystal ball readers around us. Mm -hmm. No man telling us about it, but um, it's going to rain tomorrow. Go ahead. Or an enchanter. None of that. Um, what was that course for the chanting? That dragon magic. Dragon magic. Go ahead. Or a witch. Or a witch. Or wicca. Go ahead. Or a charmer. A charmer. You know what that, you know what that is, okay? Someone who, who casts spells. Go ahead. Or a consultant with familiar spirits. Someone who who conjures demons, as in the angel course. Yeah. Was the angel course saying what it's called? Advanced angel. Advanced, Advanced <laughs> angel. Uh, what is it? Sorry, I've got it here. Adv uh, angel ritual. Advanced An magic. Advanced angel ritual and healing. All right. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Uh, or a wizard. Wizard. Um, a, a male witch. Or a necromancer. Necromancer. Going straight back to the mantics again. Go ahead. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Most High. Read it again. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Most High. For some of them that do these For things. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Most High. So anybody that deals with this is an abomination to God. Go ahead. And because of these abominations, the Most High thy power doeth drive them out from before thee. So there's a time when the Most High had to put these people to we had to put these people to death that dealt with these things in Israel. Go ahead. Thou shalt be perfect with the Most High. All right. So we shall be perfect with the Most High. All right. Now read on for these nations which thou shalt possess hearkened unto observers of times and unto diviners but as for thee the most high thy power hath not suffered thee so to do so these nations okay these nations that we had that we possessed deal with that you understand me egypt dealt with with necromancy egypt dealt with this on a high level when the children of israel journeyed over into the land of canaan they were dealing with canaanite magic which is the same thing that we see going on today in this earth. A lot of what you see going on is voodoo and all that is Can it's ancient Canaanite magic. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're not supposed to deal with it, period. Now, how did mankind learn these things? All right. We're going to go into the book of Enoch um, for the answers for some of these questions. All right. Because people will say, well, 
if God, if God, if God never want them to know it, how did they know about it? Who, who taught them that? Okay, so let's go into the book of Enoch. All right, and when you when you go into the book of Jude, it tells you about Enoch. Jude one and fourteen refers to, refers you to Enoch. All right, um, Enoch Enoch is one of the one of the books um, that is canonical. Well, what was is deemed non canonical. But who gives and who gives them the authority to tell us what books, we what records we can read of our foreparents? All right. So let's go to Genesis. Let's go to um, Hebrews. I mean Enoch. Let's go straight to it. Let's go to the seventh chapter, <coughs> Hebrews seven and one. All right. We're gonna go straight into it. Hebrews seven and one, and all the others together with them took unto themselves wives, and to, and each chose for himself one, and they began to go in. Okay, so hold on. Let's 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 recap it so the people them know what we're dealing with. Jump back to six, please. Let's go to chapter six, verse one. Enoch chapter 6 and verse 1. Go ahead. And it came to pass when the children of men had multiplied that in those days were born unto them beautiful and comely daughters. Go ahead. And the angels, the children of the heaven, saw and lusted after them and said one to another. So the angels, the children of the heavens, right, saw the daughters of men and lusted. They were enticed. They came down and they laid down with them. All right. Read on. And they said, Come. Let us choose us wives from among the children of men and beget us children. Go ahead. And Semyaza, who was their leader, said unto them, I fear you will not indeed agree to do this deed. Now, if you remember, he said Semyaza or Semyaza is the same, is one of the same fallen angels who they show you in the book in that movie, Noah, mm -hmm. which is madness. And in the end, Semyaza was taken back into heaven for defending Noah. The, 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 the book, that movie was, blasphem was blasphemous. You understand me? From the director to the actors yeah. to the producer, down to the people them who watch the movie. You with me? Straight blasphemy. You understand me? Sorry? Well, you know what I mean when I say watch it. Dealing, going into that movie and, believe and believing in it. it. It's, bla it's blasphemy. Because ain't nobody knew about it. There ain't no one in the male character that you talk to on the street knew about the watches. But when you mention them, the first initial thing they'll think about is, oh, they were the good guys in Noah. Exactly. Because I've spoken to people about it. Oh, yeah, they're the good guys. Mm -hmm. And and not going off it, but how can how can in the movie the angels fall for intervening with man? Yeah, for helping mankind, and then go back to heaven for for, help, for yeah. helping man again. They they the most the yeah the, the most I cast them out for helping man when he said don't, and then they got back into heaven for helping man. You with me? So they're basically saying that the most high is fallible. The and most has the, the most has the art of confusion. That's what they're trying to say. Yeah, man. You with me? Ridiculous. So going back into this book now, the angels came on the earth and laid with men, okay, and bore children. All right. Now these children were giants on the earth, and they taught their children. Listen to what they taught the children. Read, read, read that for me, please, Ark. Chapter eight, verse one. Let's 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 go over to um to seven. Let's go seven and one. Okay. Things here, I won't get out of that. Chapter se you know, chapter seven and verse one. Go on. And all the others together with them took unto themselves wives, and each chose for himself one. And they began to go in unto them and to defile themselves with them. Go ahead. And they taught them charms and enchantments. Oh, they did what? They taught them charms and enchantments. They taught them charms. And enchantments. Now check this out. Deuteronomy 18.11 says, let me start at 10. It says here, There shall not be found among you any that make it his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that use it divination or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits. So here it is now that the Bible is telling you where they learned this from. Okay. Bear now, in mind, Enoch is the seventh. Is the seventh from Adam? Exactly. Now check this out. It, it, it's it, it's no coincidence now that in this um, BSY college, British um, school of yoga, that was established from 1946 or whatever the case is, mm -hmm. there is no it's no coincidence that they have a course on it called Angel Consulting or Angel. Was it Angel Ritual? Angel Ritual, Angel uh -huh. Magic, because they know exactly. Where these things come from, one hundred percent, they know where it come from. They know who taught it to man, and and they're dealing with it. The government of this earth deals with with fallen angel technology daily. They deal with fallen angel knowledge daily. This is the mysticism of the earth. Okay, read on for me, Ak. 
Uh, tell everybody where you are. The book of Enoch, chapter 7 and verse verse 1 still. At Go the ahead. Back end of it. And the cutting of roots and, Cut. and made them acquainted Cut. with plants. Cutting of roots and made them acquainted with plants. One of the courses here was what? At the very end. Magical herbalism. Magical herbalism. Okay. So there's knowledge in the earth of dealing with plants. They understand it. They know it. It's always been here. <laughs> okay? And now they're offering it to the public to teach the public. They're not hiding it. So if you know, if you don't know the Bible or you don't know this, when you see these things, you will be like, oh, there's nothing wrong with this. I can do this. And now you understand why the, why, why the Roman Catholic Church and why these other establishments keeping the books of Enoch away from you, keeping the, the, other, the, the extra biblical texts away from you. Because if you read that and then you see them offering these courses, then you'll be like, yo, wait, this is not right. What's going on here? You with me? Something not right here. Okay? It's like, and it, it, you know, when the Bible says, when the Bible says, Jacob I have loved and Esau I have, I have hated, right? If, if, if this earth knew who, who Esau was, right? Then this earth would be like, yo, you know something, we need to watch him, you know, and watch the things them that him doing. So no move right. Yeah, because the most I have a problem with him. So we need to watch him, but because they don't know that now, they have no idea who to keep the eyes on and what's going on. And it's, it's set up, it's direct, it's, del it's a deliberate move. Okay, read on for me. Huh? And they became pregnant and they bare great giants whose height was 3,000 L's who consumed all the acquisitions of men. Go on. And when men could no longer sustain them, the, the giants turned against them and devoured mankind. So giants start to eat men and it goes into you like a nursery rhyme. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell, you know, uh, Jack and the Bean start that, right? And, and all of these, what, what we would call um, myth. Folklore. Or folklore. These yeah. things have real bear real linkings to it. Ex exactly. Exactly. So this is these are one of these are some of the things now why this is bad. This is why we shouldn't deal with it. So staying in the book of Enoch, right? Everybody. Let me show you now what also going into the demon demonic possession or spirit possession as what we what we spoke of earlier at the very top of this discussion, this cast here. With the article dealing with when they're telling that they're gonna introduce the um the train of, of spirit possession within 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 the, the, the NHS. Right? Now go to me for the Enoch the fifteen chapter arc. And let's start right at let's start at verse one. Enoch, Enoch fifteen and one, all right? Uh-huh. <clears throat> The book of Enoch, chapter 15 and verse 1. And he answered and said to me, and I heard his voice, Fear not, Enoch, thou righteous man, and scribe of righteousness, approach hither and hear my voice. Go ahead. And go, say to the watchers of heaven, who have sent thee to intercede for them. You should intercede for men. Because the, the, the angels had asked Enoch, Enoch to petition, to for, petition them. for them. It asked them all, started to let them back in. So the most says, like, yo, listen, you shouldn't be petition, petitioning for them, you know, okay? They should petition for you. They should entreat for you, okay? Go ahead. You should intercede for men and not men for you. Go ahead. Wherefore have ye left the high, holy, and eternal heaven and lain with women and defiled yourselves with the daughters of men and taken to yourselves wives and done like the children of earth and begotten giants as your sons? Go ahead. And though ye were holy, spiritual, living the eternal life, you have defiled yourselves with the blood of women Go ahead. and have begotten children with the blood of flesh. Go ahead. And as the children of men have lusted after flesh and blood as those also do who die and perish. Go ahead. Therefore Therefore have I given them wives also that they might impregnate them and beget children by them, that thus nothing might be wanting to them on earth. But you were formerly spiritual, living the eternal life and immortal for all generations of the world. And therefore I have not appointed wives for you, for as for the spiritual ones of the heaven. Because the angels are eternal, so you don't need to procreate. You're eternal. Why you, do, why you need a wife? Go ahead. 
in heaven is their dwelling. Go ahead. And now the giants who are produced from the spirits of flesh shall be called evil spirits. Shall be called what? Evil spirits. Oh, what's the title? What's the title of this of this um article here? One second, let me get it for the, for, for everybody. Here it is here, sir. And for those in the room, you can see it, right? It says what? What possession? Spirit possession. Spirit possession. So the, so the Bible says there, what, but what does it say? Read it. Those that are produced of the, of the, are called what on the earth? Evil shall be called evil spirits. Read it from the top. Actually. They shall be evil spirits on earth and evil spirits shall they be called. So they shall be evil spirits on earth and evil spirits shall they be called because there was no place found for them in the heavenly realm and there was no place found for them on the under earth. So they were left to roam, the, roam, on, roam on earth, these spirits. Okay, read on. In heaven shall be the as for the spirits of heaven in heaven shall be their dwelling. Go ahead. But as for the spirits of the earth which were born upon the earth, on the earth shall be their dwelling. So they're, they're gonna stay on the earth. Go ahead. And the spirits of the giants afflict. So hear what hear what they hear what they do now. The, the, these spirits. Okay. Go on. Oppress. Read it again from the, from top. The and the spirits of the giants afflict. The spirits of the giants afflict. Oppress, oppress, destroy, destroy, attack, attack, do battle, do battle, and work destruction on the earth, and work destruction on the earth. Okay, so people go in there. I know it says here. Listen to this. Listen to this. Let me read this again now for for those of us who who, who maybe just joining in. All right. It says spirit possession and mental health. Spirit possession is recognized worldwide across many cultures and by several religions. Spirit possession is often seen as an, idiot, an, an, idiot, an idiom of stress causing and change in behavior and mental well-being. So it afflicts, it do battle, it destroys. So of course, so anytime we, when you see us start dealing a certain way out of character, right? Obviously, we're dealing with something, we're dealing with spirits. Okay, now Hollywood has turned has turned the um the imagery of when when you hear demonic possession, the first thing you think about is exorcist and the grudge and some other horror flicks out there running. You with me? Not realizing that demonic demonic encounter or spiritual encounter is something that we deal with on a daily basis. You understand me? So if, if you don't see somebody with them head spinning around backwards, you understand me? Choking up half a gallon of vomit. Exactly. Or, or you know, or crawling up the wall. Yeah. Crawling up the wall like how we see it in um in, in, in these movies. Doesn't mean that there isn't a spirit there operating. Alright? People we know as well. All of us deal with spirits. And the Bible tells us how to break it. Yeshaya tells us how to deal with it. Okay, now check this out now. Go ahead, Ak. What, what more you have there for me? Uh, and cause trouble. They take no food, but nevertheless hunger. No, that's the key. These spirits take no food, but nevertheless hunger. Go ahead. And thirst and Go cause offenses. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men and against the women because they have proceeded from them. So the, these spirits, they hunger and thirst. And they're going to do battle with, with the children of men. That is what was said for them from the beginning. Now, when you, when you, when you go to, the, to these seminars, right? And they start telling you how to identify spiritual possession and how to identify, you know, deep, what, what demonic stuff, right? The Bible told us how to identify from the beginning and how to deal with it. How to actually get rid. So I don't need to go to the NHS seminar to go learn about how to identify spirits. I don't need to go there to go get no medication from the NHS. I don't need to go see no spiritual healer to go get no um to, to, to you know to have no exorcism done by them. I don't need to do that. No. Listen to what the Bible says here, alright? Go to Matthew for me. Go to Matthew 15. Yeah, we're finished with Enoch right now. And you can you can read Enoch in your own time, everybody, alright? Let's go to Matthew 15 here to show you um what we're talking about. All right. And let's start at the 14th verse. The book of St. Matthew chapter 15 and Hold verse. Hold on, sorry. Let's go Matthew 17, excuse me. So like, yeah. Matthew 17. 
and start at verse 14. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 17 and verse 14. Go ahead. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed. For oft times he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. So here's, here's, a, here's, a, here's a man telling, telling Yeshia that his son is a lunatic, right? And vexed, and oftentimes fall into the fire, and oftentimes into the water. So, what what what, what is this? What is this? What is this? Um, try, try, what, what is he trying to do though? He's trying to kill himself. Yes, he's trying to commit suicide. All right. Now, listen to what Yeshaya says to them. Go ahead. And I brought him to thy disciples, and put, they, put the mic closer to you, mother. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Go ahead. Then Yeshaya answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation. So then Yeshaya answered and said, Read. How long shall I be with you? O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? Go ahead. How long shall I suffer you? How long shall I suffer you? Go on. Bring him hither to me. Read on. And Yeshaya rebuked the devil. Go ahead. And he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Go ahead. And then came the disciples to Yeshaya, to Yeshaya apart and said. So, so after, after, because they brought him to the disciples and the disciples couldn't, couldn't rid the boy of the spirit. Right. They, and they bring him to Yeshaya. Yeshaya's like, yo, listen, you're faithless and perverse. He was cursing them out. How long you think I'm going to be here with you? Okay, read. And Yeshaya said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence. Go ahead. To yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Go ahead. How be it, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. How be it, this type of spirit here, does not go out but through fasting and prayer. Now, when you go into Enoch, Enoch lets you know that these spirits hunger and thirst. Okay? So, eating, right? If you just cut the food off and you starve it out, cut the drink off, the food and the drink off, and pray with faith, okay? You can remove any of these spirits. So we don't need to go and get pills and all of that pills and get drugged up going into the NHS plan. The answer is right here in the Bible. Go ahead. When you say this man was throwing himself in the fire and the water, he was trying to kill himself. Yes. I have some pills though, it's prescribed for me for depression. Yes. Side effects, you might get suicidal thoughts. Yes. <laughs> It's, it, no, no. Listen, listen, it, listen. It's it's common in people that take it's common in people that take Prozac and antidepressants that one of the side effects is suicidal thoughts. And those that no no joke, no joke. Those that those that regularly take them are, are, are asked every time they pick up their prescription, "Are you feeling suicidal?" They have they have interviews all the time. Are you feeling suicidal? I know someone who was who's still taking antidepressants. And, 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 and he's constantly asked, are you feeling suicidal? Do you have thoughts of killing yourself, hurting yourself, damaging yourself? I wanted to kill myself. I was on the phone to the doctor saying, look, somebody better come and see me. Well, I end it all. Well, Honestly, no. I, I'm not, not over-exaggerating. I wanted to... Hold up, my sister. Come closer to the mic and come give me that testimony here. All right, I don't... Make sure the mic picking you up. Uh, come on, sis. Come on. Come on. Give me the mic so she can hear it. Probably a good job I didn't. Anyway, yeah. Um... Talking about the antidepressants, in, two, in 2004, I went to the doctors, obviously because they're feeling down, mm -hmm. and they prescribed me some antidepressants. Um, I went home that evening and I took one, just one, and just that one tablet made me want to finish my life. Wow. I was on the phone to the doctor pleading with them to, to help me because I just didn't know what this tablet was doing to me. 
Um, it, I, I just wanted to finish it, basically. But luckily, um, I've, I, I went through the 24 hours and I never took another one again. Praise the most, I. Praise the most, I, for that. Yeah, so, it's, it's very common in Prozac. In Prozac, people get suicidal thoughts. I mean, surely that must raise red flags or alarm bells in itself. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. One hundred percent. Correct. One hundred percent. That's what they're supposed to do. Anything, for you. anything you take that has more side effects than than beneficial effects. I mean, come on now. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. So, so you know, going back to it, right? Fasting and praying. All right. And um, everybody. So this is this is this is this is all I've, I'm gonna bring out tonight in regards to this. All right. And um, we're gonna we're gonna move it. We're gonna go into the next segment of the cast, and we're gonna you know take a break and then come back come back to it. All right. But before we do that, is there anything anybody here want to add before we close off this segment? Yeah, I just want to add something there quickly. Go on. Regarding talking about you know the days of Noah, this stuff coming from like Enoch was the seventh man from Adam, so a lot of people from them times were dealing with this stuff, and how it may have got through the flood you know the most i sent the flood to destroy all this mm -hmm. when you go into the book of jubilees it tells you how that information made it across to the other side of the flood mm -hmm. right this is the book of jubilees um chapter eight and verse one which reads in the 29th jubilee in the first week in the beginning thereof arfak sad took to himself a wife and her name was rasuasia the daughter of Susan, the daughter of Elam, and she bare him a son in the third year in this week, and she called his name Canaan. And the son grew, and his father taught him writing, and he went to seek for himself a place where he might seize for himself a city. And he found a writing which former generations have carved on the rock, and he read what was thereon, and he transcribed it and sinned owing to it. So the, the angels had actually written down written down their, their written down stuff there were knowledge knowledge passed from before the flood because i say um i think if it's if it's fire if it's written on clay and when the earth if the earth was burned it, the clay would have survived the fire it just hardened the rock exactly and but but the water the stone the clay wouldn't survive the water but the stone survived the water and that's how, they, that's, how they, that's how a lot of the information came over onto the other side of the flood for them to follow. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Coupled in with the fact that man had, man had partake in the tree of knowledge already. So there was something in our DNA then from the fall of Adam. Inclined. To, inclining us to partake <laughs> or deal with certain things. You with me? And when you go into other, when you go into other history sources, i.e. The, the Josephus and all that, it tells you about those who made it across the flood as well. You with me? They were, they were, they were, they were giants that made it onto the other side of the flood. But that's, that's for another cast, another, another program. All right? Anything else, Zach? Let me just finish this. And he transcribed it and sinned owing to it, for it contained the teaching of the watchers in accordance with which they used to observe the omens of the sun and moon and stars in all the signs of heaven. So the watchers, their teaching made it to the, to the other side. Go ahead. And he wrote it down and said nothing regarding it, for he was afraid to speak to Noah about it, lest he should be angry with him on account of it. Now, in the overview, reading about the Kabbalah, what did it say? The it, tree of knowledge. It said, if you are looking to start your step on spirituality, mm. this is in, this is it in what is it in imperative imperative mm -hmm. that you start with the Kabbalah mm -hmm. and it will it will bring you to that higher level. Mm -hmm. You get me? It, it, this is what Canaan saw. Canaan saw it and was like, "Yo, this can this can open my third eye. This mm. this can give me wisdom and knowledge." That 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 that. That, that that enticing yeah. of of power again and of knowledge of wisdom you with me from the beginning all right yeah man so we're gonna we're gonna close off this segment right now and then we'll be take a take a break get some drinks some refreshments and um we'll be right back to the next half of the program or should i say the next quarter of the program that we're gonna go into dealing with the with the music review Supposed to have some tracks right on cue for some of this madness that's going on, all right? 
And remember, everybody, to email us. It's rawcast144 at gmail.com. And we're taking tracks. We're taking even. If you have any information you want to send, send it across as well. All right? And also, um, don't forget to go and subscribe to the Rawcast. Also, the Raw Truth app is there as well. Go to your 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 Play Store and download it, the Raw Truth. All right? And um, we'll speak. This is... The, what, 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 what is the first our uh, first segment? Mm-hmm. It's the end of the first segment. All right, catch you on the next side. Shalom. What more y'all need to see? A time fee we play, eh, 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 eh. and time fee we play, eh, 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 eh. and time fee we play. Eh, 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 eh. We from all the lands, some all the lands of free captivity The most I said be free from mystery Babylon Yes cause it is Uncle Sam Free from out of England Free from the Canadian land Free from out of Switzerland Free from out of France Free from out of Germany When you have the chance Free back to the wilderness where Christ tell we feel run When him say free from out of Jerusalem when you see Romans are come In our West Africa Yes when my forefathers them try cycle down until Christopher Columbus the Edomite, him come take us down And them still I do the same genocide Looking at Ferguson We fi play eh 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 At time fi we play eh 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 At time fi we play eh 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 from all the lands, some all the lands of we captivity Marcos Mosaya say, repatriation Love still a set up shop for live up in a Babylon. Babylon 70 AD with Titus and Vespasian But just my forefathers I'm out of Jerusalem to the African land Christ tell us to run to Africa to the Atlas Mountain Where my forefathers lived for a thousand years before they found them Brought us to the west to build up them streets in the Gagan Fountain Them tell us we are Africans when them know that we are Israelite The most I say never rise us up Eat Babylon no like That's why them change the history Trying to teach us so we don't see the light The most I may fight for the people them But the people not live right Hey my plan a genocide For kill off the most I messenger Them know that in the last year We are going to return back to Africa So Babylon said them scientists Go spread Ebola A time fee we fled eh, 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 eh. And time fee we fled eh, 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 eh. And time fee we play eh, 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 eh. Free from all the lands, some all the lands of free captivity If a slave born in a America, no you're not American Slave born in a Jamaica, no you're not Jamaican Them tell you that your nationality come from where you're born from But your nationality come from the land where your forefathers walk from Remember we were brought over here from the caravan Atlantic slave paid by the Khazars and the Arabians No say them are Jews but them are the synagogue of Satan Don't have no blood Lineage to David, nor Solomon to Jacob, nor Abraham. So tell me where them come from. Change your history, no, we are them and they are we. A full time feed the world, no, we are the royal family. Yashra, Allah, Yashen, Tizola, they so be Fibian. If me no make it in, they may show sure off me picking it. Time feed we play, eh, 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 And time feed we play, eh, 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 And time feed we play, eh, 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 Free from all the lands, some all the lands of free captivity. Time free, we play, eh, 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 And time free, we play, eh, 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 And time free, we play, eh, 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 Free from all the lands, some all the lands of free captivity. Wake up, yo, eh. And when you shall see Jerusalem covered with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is yeah, and we back. Everybody tell them we back. Yeah, y'all know the raw truth back. Shalom, why my shalom? Cause I your brother, brother Brian. Oh, chilling with brother Nathan, your brother and elder God. Oh. On the raw cast, raw truth. True. One time for GOCC UK in the building. All praises to a higher Bahashim Yeshaya Wawawat Kadash. Let's get it. Ah, uh, man. Shalom Israel, welcome back Alright, moving into the next segment right now here We're going to do the the music review, review Excuse me But it won't be it won't be a music review as, as you know, we're reviewing it Reviewing it, alright That will come in the later shows, how you're willing Alright, and what we're going to do, we're going to be having the artists themselves 
um, in a brief segment, giving you a little bio on themselves, and you know you're hearing from them. So look forward to that. Look, stay tuned for that for the upcoming episodes. Okay, and remember, if you have music and you'd like us to play it, um, go over it um, for the people here on the Raw Truth, aka Rawcast. Just send it to rawcast144 at gmail.com. That is rawcast144 at gmail.com. And also, don't forget to drop a little bio on yourself, little information so we know who you are and, um, and a contact number, all right? So we can, sorry? And the links. And the links, yes. And all the links that we, can, that we need to where we can get to you and find, and find your music, all right? So we can, we can put it out here on the, rock, on the rawcast, the raw truth, all right? So don't forget that. And also not just music. If you are um if you deal with health, if you you know, any, any talent you have, any skills you have and you like to share that with, with um with the with the brothers and sisters out there in the world, just drop it in. Just send us an email and we'll try and hook you up with an interview. You might get um sister um pepper sauce might be coming. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sister pepper sauce, say hello. All right. Sister Tahara, aka Sister Pepper Sauce, will will be will be contacting you. All right, and um, you know, and you, you take it from there. Okay, now the first track we're gonna we're gonna play today, and 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 you know what, big shout out and respect to all the brothers and sisters who sent in some music for us to play. In. I mean, there's so much that came in. I don't think we can play all of it, but don't don't worry. Every track gonna get played. You with me, and we, we're gonna go through it. All right, so. Just keep them, keep them coming, all right? Also, um, Brother Nathan is putting together the... I'm putting together a, a mixtape series featuring all the artists that are sending their music through and I want to support the, the Hebrew and Truth Music community and, and start to build it up w within the GOCC. We'll even do like a live Ustream mix as well that we're planning. And... Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So send your music through, and and like God was saying, you know, put the links in and the bio and everything. But if you can make sure that it's as good quality as as you can, we want full quality MP3s if possible, three twenty. Um, WAVs are accepted as well. And if you need mixing and mastering doing on these tracks, hit me up on the Rawcast one four four at gmail dot com, and we'll try and help you out. All right, and um, yeah, man, it's it. I mean, it's it, it's looking good. Lots of ideas coming through. The production team is mad at work right now to to bring it for you. All right, this is this is gonna be big. All right, so spread the word out there. All right, we're not restri we're not restricted anymore as we were. We're free right now. We're gonna just bring we're gonna bring you the best the best the best going out. All right, with all the information out there. I mean, there's plenty of stuff that we can get through. Um, for the for the show you're referring to as a live show, mm -hmm. a higher willing will get that done this week. We will have a live show for the for the for the for the um for the audience that you can tune in live and listen and listen to it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna post it on UStream probably, UStream stroke maybe YouTube as well. Mm. So stay tuned for links for that. We're gonna um, probably post the links through social media. All right. And um, I'll put it up with brother with, with Judas back as well. I'll let him know. He can put it out as well. Yeah. And after, after it's been recorded, he can put it out on Judas yeah, back, yeah. and we can put it out on SoundCloud. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, don't forget people to get people to tune into the live mix when it's going on live, so they can listen to it live, real time. Mm. We're gonna have to probably um, hook them up with the UStream, the UStream links. But don't worry, during the course of this week, we'll get everything out there. And if it don't get done by this week, maybe the next. The next cast most definitely will have the time and address mm. and place and links for you to go to to get it live, all right? Yeah. So without further ado, we're going to move into the first track this week. All right, this is from Brother Shad and it's Testimony, a.k.a. Hood Hebrew Music, all right? Listen to it. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what with Brother Shad. Um, we got Brother Shad's track and we started, we listened to the first one. We're like, all right, we're going we're gonna to review this one. I know that, that was the first track. We went to the record like, all right, we're going to review this one. Yeah. And it was, you know, I think we spent most of the night doing that with most of the music, really. Yo, 
it's, it's <laughs> powerful music coming through from these eyes. Yeah, some strong yeah, music coming in. I was like, it's like we, we, you know, we don't know what to choose. We don't know what what to actually go into. Exactly. So it's like every track that we come up with is like, yeah, we're gonna go that one. Now we're gonna go <laughs> that one. No, 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 we're gonna go that one. <laughs> All right. So it's been a, it's been a, a, a yeah. been a dilemma, and it's been a good dilemma, man, because. We've been listening to some good music all evening, um, trying to you know find out which one we're gonna actually go into. All right, so we got shot here with testimony, Hebrew testimony. Tell us what you think. Broadcast <coughs> music review. This ain't going on no mixtape or nothing. Just a little freestyle testimony. So I guess it's a Hebrew word. I'm strapped with that word in my 22. You other nations. Listen, listen, check it out. Right? Whenever we're doing the music segment again, all right, I'm going to tell the production team what I want, all right? I need a button. I need a pull-up button, mm. all right? I need a pull-up button. Let me let me tell you what I want. I need a pull-up button. This is the production team. I need a pull-up button. I need some space guns. Yeah. I need a bell and a horn, yo. You, you with want me? the sampler. I need, I need, I need my sample, all right. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get my management to write that into my contract. I need my samplers and a pull-up button, because when these tunes I'm playing, it's very hard not to. So yo, yo, pull that up from the top again, all right. We, like, can, we can make it happen. Yes, all right, good. <laughs> I'm gonna write that into my contract clause as well. You with me? Because yeah, you understand me. The, the music, the music here get me high. This, 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 this is one of my favorite part of this. Uh, this actually this you know this whole format is going into the music man you understand me the music is powerful yeah all right man. and there's so Inspiring. much so much out there all right so that was brother shad um most i will we'll have an interview with him in the very near future all right where you can hear him hear him hear him talk with him get you know hear from him yourself from every, you know and all so let's move into the next track all right where we are from we, we are from an arc we have Arak the Pash. All right. Now, this was the next brother who had us up there going, right, we're going to go this track, this track. Literally, we got the list of tracks here, right? I play, we played the first one, 12 Tribes. <laughs> I was like, yeah, man, this is the jam. And then <laughs> played the next one, which is the real Ten Commandments. I was like, actually, we'll play this one. <laughs> and then we went to the next one. I was like, yo, all of these tracks. 
So let's see here. Let's go. All right. So what we're gonna go into right now is our rock no posh. All right. Mm. And what song did we actually decide that we're gonna use for rock no posh tonight? I think we ended up with Most High Oath. The Most High Oath. Yeah. All right, everybody else. So listen to this one. All right. This is one that we finally decided that we're gonna actually play for you tonight. But every song that yo came through was a winner. Mm. Okay, it was a bad boy track. A rock no posh. Big up yourself. Big up down there. Big up down there to Trinidad and um, Deacon Yatazakwa who holding it down for the Caribbean right now and all the people I'm in the Caribbean who linking in. You with me? Kwame Asha Alaman. Making waves. Yeah, man. Making waves. Rising. All right? So check this out by brother Arak Napash. Hit us up for me. Huh? Broadcast music review. Rock Yasharala, Rock Yasharala. Let's ride, y'all. Let's ride, y'all. We can do it. We can do it. Let's continue to be a strong nation. Be a strong nation. Feel the most high. Uh, uh. You gotta get this truth out there. Get this truth out there. Up the machine. Up the machine. I'm kneeling down with my eyes closed and hands up. Facing the east towards Jerusalem, stand up. Destroy the body, but my soul is what you can't touch. If you're abandoning the most high, then you won't definitely stand much of a chance in advance. You should stop. If it wasn't for a son, then you'd be judged on the spot. Find a place where there's an abundance of scriptures you can drop. The water are higher by my shelf and shy and rubble rock. Look in book Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9. Precept that with Proverbs 28, 9. Through the Mashiach is all the salvation you can find. He gon' be the one leading us to the kingdom. When it's time, I'm on the front lines with my sword putting work in. I study day and night, feeding the soul. Books open, staying strong, ready to hit the scriptures when it's needed. Putting in the work till my adversary is defeated. Whenever I see the state of Israel, I still cry. Even if I gotta face death, I'ma still ride. If you don't know your purpose in life, just examine in Ecclesiastes 12, 13 is what we live by. If I despise the father by what I'm told, he will definitely. Put an end to my body and my soul No doubt the heavenly fathers in control And it's best for me to walk it if I higher face the road As if death be the curse, life is what I chose And as cruel as it might seem, Deuteronomy Chapter 30, verse 19, Mike Dean Keep in mind, Romans 9, 1, 5 Don't try to focus on his ways, why he made it Verse 8, chapter 55 in Isaiah just continue doing the work for the haters. Continue sending prayers. This is for Rock the Power seeking favor. I just wanna give all praises to the Most High. Way we show our love and remember when the oath by First John 5 3. Just doing His will and not taking in vain the holy name He instilled. I just wanna give all praises to the Most High. Way we show our love and remember when the oath by First John 5 3. Just doing His will and not taking in vain the holy name He instilled. Cause I envision Shema on my affliction. Being heard, my petition, forgiveness. I hope he listens. My angel bear my face. I can't see him, but he witnessed. Every time I fall, then I crawl, then I walk, then I run again. It's race. I'm just learning how to pace. In those times I let you down, I kept falling on my face. Tears run down my face. I can't end up in haze. Wandering seven ways of the day of judgment day. Calling brimstone, the thought sends shivers to my bones. So I consecrate my spirit on delivering us home. I have a seri bones like a roaring lion, trying to disturb our zone, which is Zion. Shabbat shalom, that's what I flee to and what I cleave to. It's beholding salvation in that hour of temptation Keeping the temple vacant for demons trying to lead us down a wrong path We know it's all wrath, falling back in the water, leaving it all in the past Take the bright and shine and all at first heavy, then it's light like shoulder pads At the scrimmage line, ready to contest the heady, high-minded and truce breakers Boasters, soothsayers, come at us like newspapers Force accusing these last days, verbal abusers But this ain't the people of strange speech or hard language but a people of the same seed with heart damage My soul shall be satisfied with the marrow and fatness And my mouth shall praise the Ahaya with all gladness The truth is righteousness in this increase in madness Broad versus the narrow path, keeping your commandments It's how we keep your oath, and haste not in loaf Oh, Lamar now a hot amah, wa a thun now a A ba haya ba shem yashire wa wa Lamar now a hot amah, wa a thun now a 
I buy a higher buy shit and shy wall wall I just wanna give all praises to the most high Way we show our love and remembering the oath by first John 5 3 just doing his will and not taking in vain our holy name he instilled I just wanna give all praises to the most high Way we show our love and remembering the oath by first John 5 3 just doing his will and not taking in vain our holy name he instilled all praises be to the most high be to the most high a higher by Shimmy Shai, Rabba Wash, Shai, Rabba Wash, the Wada Thum Yad, the Wada Thum Yad, Aman, 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 yeah, man. And that is uh, a rock no posh with the most eyes out. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, yo, we sat, you should listen, to, you should, yo, you should have seen us going through these tracks, not knowing what to pick, not knowing what to say. We're gonna go over because they're all, they're all. Yo, on our next level So we're definitely gonna have, to have a tune Dedicated just for the music A but show for just, uh, Yeah, show, excuse me Just dedicated for the music Yeah. Now, my sister Pepper Sauce I mean, Tahara A.K.A. Sister Pepper Sauce With, with us right now <laughs> Check, I got one for you right now Alright Now people, listen to this one Now you know, you know I'm gonna give away too much On this, on this next track all right, but let's just put it put it this way, yeah. Put it this way. Put it this way. You know how I love my Benjamin flow, right? Oh, I love my Benjamin music. Of course. Okay. All right. So listen, let's check this one out. All right. Tell me what you think. All right. This is by. Should I take? Yeah. This is by Sojourner. Let me get a name. Sister Sojourner. Listen to Sister Sojourner. Go on, uh, hit that track for me. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Broadcast music review. Yeah, this generation. Time to revel, time to seek the truth, time to understand that the key is right within you. Time to understand that this is, that this is, that this is the game plan. Time to revel, time to seek the truth, time to overstand the power is right within you. Time to overstand that this is, that this is, that this is the game plan. Them say we were kings and queens. Them say we had everything. Kiasha we from West Africa. Scatter we to the four corners. Me want to know how them ever prosper. Say them could have never ever prosper. Turn we back on a day so we falter. We turn we back on a day so we falter. It a fi done. It a fi born. It a fi run. It a fi gone, it a fi born Run, run, run Time to revel, time to seek the truth Time to understand that the key is right within you Time to understand that this is, that this is, that this is the game plan Time to revel, time to seek the truth Time to understand the power is right within you Time to overstand that this is, that this is, that this is the game plan. Say we running out of time. Say Maggie, we are six feet and nine. Writing on the wall really is a sign. Does the punishment really fit the crime? Humanity is way out of line. Policies make them too high blind. Time to wake up and live this lifetime. Time to wake up and live this lifetime. It a fi do, it a fi born, it a fi run, it a fi do, it a fi born, run, run, run. Time to revel, time to seek the truth, time to understand that the key is right within you. Time to understand. That this is, that this is, that this is the game plan Time to revel, time to seek the truth, time to overstand The power is right within you Time to overstand That this is, that this is, that this is the game plan Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Yo. Sister Pepper sauce. What do you think about that? I couldn't hear it. You couldn't hear it? No, it's in your headphones. Uh, all right. Here we are for the then. You're going to have to wait till it release then. When it release, <laughs> you hear it. <laughs> <laughs> when it release you will hear it alright hopefully this this show will go live I will go available to the public before the day is out before tomorrow is out you with me production team I like this you know like I like I really do I, you listen I really like this alright and you're listening to the Raw Truth and the Raw Cast alright and um, we're just into the music review segment just in case if you're just joining in alright remember send them tracks in to g um rawcast144 at gmail.com and we will definitely either review it play it you with me but right now yo the amount of good music coming in mm. it's unreal all right but everyone i'm gonna get played we're gonna have um that the interview segment is gonna be a part of the next broadcast right so stay tuned for that as well all right sister sister pepper sauce We'll be handling some of the stuff in the back in the in the um behind the scenes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that, that name we're stick for, you know, pepper sauce. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, but sister pepper sauce, see with me. Alright, so check it. Um coming into that point now, we're going into the moving into the last track tonight that made that under review segment all right now this one this was another, another dilemma as well mm. all all of them are dilemmas all right but this was another one where we never know what to pick all right and we went with this one why i like i, I like this one it reminded me of old track that i used to love you with me yeah and um you the lyrics right on point with it all right yeah, all right and this is brother cast d all right cast d yeah and this is the track ready or not all right now check this one out people and ready and like i said remind me of a track that i used to love back in the day and i went to we chose this one all right for the for the show tonight check it out listen to this or not let's get that broadcast music review raw truth raw truth raw truth raw truth Where we rise incorruptible. When we rise incorruptible. Now that I escape, sleep, walk away. Those who see the coming world and know it's fate. Jail bars ain't golden gates, but we get shipped upstate. Like we doing semesters to graduate. If I rule the world, we leave the land of the north. Top of Jerusalem and give Africa our support. I spit around sipping culture wine. Our vineyard have been destroyed by the elite. It makes me weep, but no though we I preach to the lost sheep. They made our ancestors sleep in 70 AD. Flee into the mountains, original refugees. When you see the Roman Empire formulating a siege, last words of Yeshua Christ. We'll be here like Morgan Freeman, but in these churches I don't see him. Yet we will sow at the very end. A born again hooligan, only to be king again. Ready or not? When we rise incorruptible. Ready or not? Oh. Here I go. When we rise incorruptible When we rise incorruptible. You can't run away from these stars. Uh-huh. Oh, my whole crew wanna know, oh, babe. The whole 
Zion. Hey, Ready or not, Yashal are taking over the oppressor, ruler, oppressor. Your shies are weapon of death shall rise first. Then those in the flesh in his glorious presence, no weapon shall prosper. The tech of the mosque, the breath of his word is the chopper. Open the Doppler, kingdoms of shadow, no missile advance. They're pissing their pants when they see the son of man in skies pitch black. East to west hemisphere, don't know where y'all at. Alright, pepper sauce. You heard it that time. You heard that one. I, that I got a little bit carried away with it at the beginning, actually. You thought because, it was because I just thought, I thought, what, what, what's what? new about this? It's Lauren Hill, ready or not? A yeah. Fugees, a Fugees, the original. So I'm, I'm, I'm just listening, not oh. realizing until I heard Yeshaya. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah and I'm you, like, oh. And, 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 and to show you, that's why I was saying it's a clean mix as well. Mm. Normally, you can tell, you know, when you do like a mix to one of these tracks. It normally come over, but you know, if you never know the original, blended. it blended, man. It and blended, it, and it did because it fooled me. As I said, it was only until I heard of your shire. Yeah. I'm thinking, what's different about this? Though? Yeah, <laughs> top though, good tune. Really like that one. Yeah, man. All right. So, what was the name of the uh, the artist there? This artist is Cash D. Okay, cool. Cash D. So, yo, go check him out. Go look at. Go look him up over there, and all the other artists that we had um featured the tracks here tonight. All right. Most I would in the next the next cast we're doing, we'll have interviews and all that going on for you, all right? So I guess we at that time. Have we right. come to the end of the show? Yes. That we was are. quick. It was quick, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Yeah man, time fly when you're having fun, isn't it? It sure does. Alright. So we're looking forward to uh, the next shoutcast when? Next one. Next ah. one. Alright, next one. Stay tuned. Stay tuned mm, for yeah, the next yeah. one. We, we, we're going to come up with a proper schedule mind you you guys the production team why are you looking at me well, and asking me well, when you with me when we've when got, when is it we've, yeah. got, we've got loads of ideas coming up and uh, what what we're going to be looking at really is the build up it's just going to keep building the show's just going to keep building okay um, and it's just going to be fat so you know so you know keep keep tuned in and everybody you heard you're hearing it straight from um, pepper sauce <laughs> you with me and, and and for those of you who don't know <laughs> Sister Pepper Sauce is one of the production um, part of the production team. You with me? So I don't know why. They, I don't know why they're looking at me and asking me when is the next show when they deal with productions. You with me? I'm just I'm just an employee right now, coming in and doing my job. So you production, you, pro you you production, you producers get producing. All right. We will. You produce. You produce, and I show up on time for work, and do what I gotta do. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, everybody tuning in. This is the Raw Truth, a.k.a. Raw Cast, saying shalom. Remember, the academy is still open. Go go enroll. All right? Send an email to gatheringasone at AOL.com. Um, we link in the UK every Sabbath. We have gatherings in London, Manchester, Sheffield, Bradford, Birmingham. All right? Any one of them, you can, you can, you can link into whatever city you are in. Send us an email, and we'll point you in the right direction to fellowship. All right? Every Shabbat. All right? And with that said, we'll talk to the next side, all right? Shalom, Israel. Shalom. Shalom. There's nowhere else to turn. There's nothing you can do. It's just the raw truth. Teaching us our Bible and our history like we never knew. Raw truth. Showing us the lies and all the snares of Babylon pull out. Raw truth. It is nothing but, it is nothing but. Raw truth. 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 Raw truth.